Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we're going to take up the lessons in Math 10, Quarter 1, Week 3. But before that, let us review the term sequence. It is being defined as, as a set of numbers written in specific order. One type of that is the arithmetic sequence. That is a sequence where every term after the first term is obtained by adding a constant called the common difference. Here are a set of numbers written in specific order. Now, which of the following is an arithmetic sequence? Is it A, B, C, or D? That is letter C. Why? Because they have a common difference of 6. If you add 6 to the first term, you will obtain the second term. If you add 6 to the second term, you will obtain the third term. If you add 6 to the third term, you will get the fourth term, and so on. What about letters A, B, and D? They are said to be geometric sequence. And what are geometric sequence or geometric progression? That is a sequence where each term after the first term is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant called the common ratio. Here is an example. On our given, our first term is 4 or in symbol a sub 1. The second term is 8 or a sub 2. The third term is a sub 3 or 16. And the 4th, 5th, and 6th term are 32, 64, and 128. Now, what do we do to 4, our first term, to obtain the second term, 8? That is, we multiply the first term by 2 to get the second term, 8. And how about 8? What do we do to the second term to get the third term, 16? Still, we multiply it by 2 to get the third term. If we multiply 16 by 2, is that equal to 32, the fourth term? Yes. How about if 32 multiplied by 2, is that equal to 64? Yes, that's the fifth term. And if we multiply 64 by 2, will we arrive on 128 on the sixth term? Yes. But how about if we multiply 128 times 2, can we get the next term? Yes, of course. And what is the rule? That is multiplying by 2. Another example, the first term is 3, the second term is 15, the third is 75, the fourth is 375, and the fifth is 1875, and so on. What do we do to the first term 3 to get the second term 15? That is, we multiply 3 by 5 to get 15, the second term. And what do we do to the second term, which is 15, to get the third term, 75? That is, we multiply 15 by 5 to get 75, the third term. If we multiply 75 by 5, is that equal to 375, the fourth term? Yes. If we multiply 375 by 5, is that equal to 1,875, the fifth term? Of course, yes. But how about if we multiply 1,875 by 5? Can we get the next term? Yes, of course. And then therefore, what's the rule? Multiplying by 5. Let us have an activity. Let us identify the next two terms of the given sequence. Letter A, 3. 9, 27, 81, blank, blank. What do you think are the next two terms of the given sequence? Those are 243 and 729. Why? Because if you multiply the first term by 3, you will arrive on the second term 9. Multiplying the second term by 3, you will have 27, the third term. And multiplying 27 by 3, you will arrive on the fourth term, which is 81. Therefore, to get the next term, you are going to multiply 81 by 3. You will now have 243. Then 243 times 3, you will have now 729. Another item, 48, 24, 12, 6, blank, blank. What do you think are the next two terms? Those are 3 and 3 halves or 1 and a half or 1.5. Why? 
because if you multiply the first term by one half, you will arrive on 24, the second term. Multiplying 24 by one half, you will have 12, the third term, and then 12 by one half, the fourth term. Then therefore, to get the next term, you multiply 6 by 1 half, you will have 3 as the next term. And then again, multiplying 3 by 1 half, you will have 3 halves or 1 and a half or 1.5 on the next term. Given the geometric sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, and so on, our given first term is 2. Multiplying the first term by 2, you will arrive on the second term 4 and multiplying the preceding terms after the first term by this constant number you will obtain the next term this constant number is called the common ratio in symbol r the question is how do you find the common ratio of a geometric sequence recall that in finding the common difference of an arithmetic sequence we simply subtract the second term minus the first term or the third term minus the second term or the fourth term minus the third term. In finding the common ratio in a geometric sequence, you will have R is equal to A sub 2 all over A sub 1, where A sub 2 is the second term and A sub 1 is the first term. That is also equal to dividing the third term by the second term or the fourth term by the third term. Example, given the sequence 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, to solve for R, that is equal to A sub 2 over A sub 1. Our second term is 4, the numerator, and the first term is 2, the denominator. And what is 4 divided by 2? That is equal to 2. And that is the value of R. It should be equal to the quotient of A sub 3 and A sub 2. At the same time, the fourth term divided by the third term. Let us check. If we divide the second term by the first, the result is 2. If we divide the third by the second, still the result is 2. Fourth by the third, that is equal to 2 if by the fourth that is equal to 2 and 64 divided by 32 is equal to 2 if you are going to observe they arrive on the same result and the common ratio is equal to 2 or the value of r is equal to 2 another example 3 15 75 375 and so on let's solve for r a sub 2 divided by A sub 1. Our A sub 2 is 15 and A sub 1 is 3. What is 15 divided by 3? That is equal to 5. Let us have the quotient of the third term and second term. And that is 75 divided by 15. Is that equal to 5? Yes. Fourth term divided by the third term. That is 375 divided by 75. That is equal to 5. If all the quotients are all equal to 5, then you have the common ratio which is equal to 5. And then therefore, the given sequence is a geometric sequence. Another example, 6, negative 12, 24, negative 48, and so on. What is the common ratio or the value of R? Let's use again a sub 2 divided by a sub 1 and that is negative 12 divided by 6 that is equal to negative 2. Let's check a sub 3 divided by a sub 2 is that also equal to negative 2? 24 divided by negative 12 is equal to negative 2. At the same time a sub 4 divided by a sub 3 or negative 48 divided by 24 that is also equal to negative 2. Therefore, that is a geometric sequence whose common ratio is equal to negative 2 or the value of R is equal to negative 2. Example 4. 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, 1 over 16, and so on. Let us solve for R or its common ratio. 
by dividing the second term by the first term. Our second term is one-fourth and our first term is one-half. So this is equal to one-fourth divided by one-half. How do we divide fractions? That is, we are going to change the division sign into multiplication sign and you are going to get the reciprocal of the denominator that is 2 over 1. After that, multiply the numerators 1 times 2 and then the denominators 4 times 1 that is equal to 2 over 4. Reducing 2 over 4 into lowest term that is equal to 1 half. Okay, now let us check whether that is also equal to the quotient of the third term divided by the second term. Our third term is 1 8 and our second term is 1 4. Let us check. 1 8 divided by 1 4. Same process, you are going to change the division sign into multiplication sign and the denominator, you are going to get its reciprocal that is now equal to 4 over 1. Then multiplying their numerators, then their denominators, that is equal to 4 over 8. Reducing into lowest term, that is still equal to 1 half. So the value of R is equal to 1 half. Therefore, the given sequence is a geometric sequence. Now, it's your turn. Identify if a given sequence is arithmetic or geometric. If it is geometric, you are going to identify the value of R. Kindly check your answers after the activity. Letter A. Letter B. Letter C. Letter D. And letter E. Check your answers. Letter A, arithmetic. Letter B, geometric. R is equal to negative 1. Letter C, geometric. R is equal to 1 third. Letter D, arithmetic. And letter E, geometric. Or R is equal to 2. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Till next videos.